A report published by a London-based think tank Overseas Development Institute has shed light on how extreme religious groups and political parties are targeting schools around the world as part of a coordinated and well-funded attack on gender equality. The way this is being done is by outright banning women from education, banning sex education and reinforcing gender stereotypes in textbooks. Now, according to the authors of the report, a small group of highly financed anti-rights organizations and politicians are doing so hand in gloves with militant groups. Some of the most well-known conservative organizations globally are also trying to influence policies and laws surrounding education. Furthermore, these organizations continue to receive billions of pounds in funding. The report has found close to $3.7 billion was funneled into anti-gender equality organizations worldwide between 2013 and 2017. In Africa, over, four f over $54 million was spent by U.S.-based Christian groups to campaign against LGBTQ plus rights. This regressive backing is absurdly free of geopolitical tensions as even Russian oligarchs, British donors, groups of interest from Germany and Italy have cumulatively spent over $5 million. In Asia, Pakistan has received billions in Saudi loans and direct aid along with private funding from Gulf states to promote Wahhabism, a fundamentalist movement within Sunni Islam. In the South American country of Chile, Catholic schools are using educational material to portray men as heads of households, as being more intelligent and capable than women, with messages on the importance of wives being submissive. The most regressive policies arise from Afghanistan, where the Taliban regime has excluded females from all but primary education. The report emphasizes on a con concerted global effort past religious, ethnic and geopolitical fault lines, hell-bent on perpetuating said reg regressive norms that threaten backsliding gender relations back into dark ages.